to share something out of Raymond Hollywell's great work. It's a highlight that I really enjoy. He said, every architect and builder follows the same plan, whether they're building or planning a house, a bridge, an institution, or their own life. Every person is his own designer and builder. Like the creator, they make their creations within before they materialize without. All fears of sickness, poverty, and old age are impressions, ideas, and mental pictures long before they become the painful realities. Every idea and mental picture must produce after its own kind, whether the picture is good or bad. The law determines it too. You see, the law does not question or challenge the kind of picture we give to it. It only knows that it must take what is offered or planted and then proceed to materialize it in visible form. Now he points out some people can visualize great engineering achievements, yet they do not know that by the same method they can overcome their disease and despair and enjoy health and happiness that they long for. Isn't that wild? Now think what he said. Some people can visualize great engineering achievements, but never understand that by exactly the same method they can enjoy health and prosperity. Mechanical engineering is the same as mental engineering. They are both dependent wholly upon a creative intelligence. Mental photography, like mechanical photography, produces exactly what it sees. A picture of a homely, unsightly person never turns out to look like a beauty pageant winner. Nor does a little short person look tall and enlarge on a photograph. A picture of black will not be white, neither can a negative destroying idea produce constructive and positive results. If the ideas are negatives, well, they will turn in and create negative results, but so will the positive ones. Now, before I bring this to a close, I want to just share the last highlight here that, that really struck me and I want to encourage you not, not to just go by this video series. The video series is merely the peak of the mountain. It's just the, the cap of the iceberg. There's so much depth in this. As you study into this, you're going to suddenly become aware of the phenomenal power that resides within and without. And you can start working with it to create the good that you want in your life. The author said, as we assimilate in mind these ideas or, or mental pictures, we knowingly or unknowingly exercise a power to produce them. See, what's ever going on on the inside is going to show up on the outside. James Allen, way back around 1903, he said, we think in secret, and it comes to pass. Environment is but our looking glass. Well, this author says this creative process continues working night and day until the idea is completed. We cannot picture thoughts of poverty, failure, disease, and doubt, and expect in return to enjoy wealth, success, happiness, and courage. It just can't be done any more than the photographer can take a beautiful picture of a homely creature and then hold a picture of a beautiful person. You see, that same concept is true. When we begin to see positive things in our mind, you don't have to know how they're going to materialize. You only have to know that they are. What goes on inside shows on the outside. That's based on one of the first primary laws of the universe, the transmutation of energy. Energy is forever moving into form, through form, and back into form. And being a creative being, you and I can entertain thoughts and we can produce results. As a matter of fact, the very next video in this series is on the law of thinking. I want to thank you for looking at this. And, and again, I want you to encourage, encourage yourself to dig into this in great depth. This series that you're getting 